Welcome back to Chasing the Sun. I am Jane. And I'm Eric. If you are traveling in Hanoi, then you have to check out some of their great local food. North Vietnam has some unique food different from the South, so we will share with you where they are in Hanoi. Yes, and if you are traveling to Ho Chi Minh City, then make sure you check out this video showing you where all the great food is in that city. Hanoi is a great city if you love to try different foods. There's many great restaurants here and we can't cover it all in just one video. But what we want to do is show you the best restaurant of each type of food, including the best pho tai, best pho gà, best banh mi, and many more. Of course, coffee is a huge part of the culture in Vietnam and Hanoi has their own take on it called the egg coffee and it's gotten very popular with tourists and locals. We know that when you're traveling, there's a limited time to try all of the good food. So the places we're sharing with you here comes from us touring with our local friend Trung and we can assure you it's the best that you can find. All right, my mouth is watering just thinking about the food. So here's the first one. The first place on our list is a restaurant that specializes in an iconic Vietnamese dish, the pho tai, which is beef noodles. Our local friend Trung brought us here and he was absolutely correct when he said this is the best in the city. Their pho tai is very different than any one that I've tried in North America and even in Vietnam. Their beef is not dry and has a texture that's more like minced meat. If you're in Hanoi, then this has to be on your must try list. The good news here is it's very easy to find because it's right beside the St. Joseph Cathedral. Oh, it looks good. Okay, so we just went for some really good chicken pho, which is noodles. Um, and this one is was recommended by my local friends. It's a local favorite. Really good stuff you can see in the soup and the meat and everything the way that they prepare. Now here's the local insider's tip. When you eat chicken pho, they will give you some salt and minced herbs, which you will want to mix with some lime juice and use as a dip for your chicken meat. It changes the flavors completely. Uh, now, one thing to note though is if you sit downstairs, it's a different pricing than if you sit upstairs because there's AC and VIP room and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, if you want the AC, go upstairs. You pay a bit more for that. Otherwise, sit downstairs for that local flavor. Okay, so this is duck boon, duck vermicelli, which is very famous. You can get a few different styles, either with soup or like what Jamie ordered. Separate on the side, you can order half or the whole, and they'll give you vermicelli, which then you dip into the soup. And this is really good. That is uh, duck blood, very, very smooth. And you also dip the uh, duck meat into this, which is like a fish sauce garlic chili combo. Okay, so this is a uh, pan fried, yeah, pan fried garlic, duck so with basil leaves and garlic. Yeah, Lots garlic of looks garlic. great. Okay, so we just finished a really good lunch here at I don't know how to pronounce this place. I think it's Goen Yan. Basically, they're a duck restaurant specialty. Really good duck with uh, vermicelli. The tip here is they'll come earlier because they make only so much duck every day. They make it fresh, and if it's out, it's out. There's no more. So when we ordered, there was two items on the menu that was completely out, uh, but it was still good. Uh, if you like duck blood, this is really good place for it. Very smooth. You can order with soup, the vermicelli inside the soup with the meat, or the vermicelli on the side, and it give you soup on the side, and you just dip it in northern style.
we are going for some northern Vietnamese noodles. Okay, so you're supposed to put the vermicelli inside this and mix it. And some veggies, I guess. So it's almost like a soup. In the south, they would serve the barbecue pork dry on top of a bowl of vermicelli, and then you would pour some fish sauce over it. Some people also like to wrap it, but this is how they eat it in the north. So you're supposed to, uh, this is barbecue pork with uh, some fish sauce and sugar and water. And you're supposed to dip the vermicelli inside with some veggies and eat it with the meat. Very good. Yeah. I like the charcoal flavor, huh? Yeah, I like the charcoal flavor. Mm -hmm. And I like how they give it so much like vegetables and with a lot of herbs. Yeah. It's just so good. Mm. So this is their deep fried uh, spring roll. This is called nem here. It's actually very good. There's seafood inside. The skin is crispy and light and the meat is good too. Very different than what we have. This is more of a square shape. You can dip this in the uh, fish sauce with, uh, that you get with the bun zha. So even Obama came here. And of course it made it even more popular. But this restaurant has been popular even before Obama. It's a local favorite for bun zha. So this is Bun Mi 25 and it's a very popular place for Bun Mi. Now, um, like a lot of shops, it's very small and that's actually the kitchen there that you're seeing. What you need to know is if you're ordering, you order here, but if you want to sit and eat, you actually have to go over there, which is their seating area. That's very common here in uh, Northern Vietnam. They, they split up because their shops are so small. Okay, so this uh, banh mi is from Hanoi, one of the most famous places. But in reality, I think I like the one that I tried in Ho Chi Minh more. The bread is lighter and it was a street stall, just one of those street stalls, banh mi. The bread is lighter. This one, the meat is good though. The pate is good. It's a bit spicy, so that's good. It's really noisy here. I hope you can hear it. But it's bun zhaka and it's a very traditional northern Vietnamese dish. It's fried fish with veggies and then you mix it with vermicelli and fish sauce and some other uh, spices and veggies. Put some noodles, some bun in your bowl. Yeah. Then you mix it with some veggies and some fish, of course. And then you put some of the uh, onions and other uh, seasonings that you like, herbs, bean sprouts, whatever, and some peanuts if you want. And then some fish sauce, of course. You mix it all up with some bun, and then you eat. Okay, so we just finished a really good meal at um, 
Daga Tan Long, and it's probably the best restaurant for Daga. Daga is a North Vietnamese cuisine, and it's a must try, especially at this restaurant if you're in Hanoi. We are stopping for a coffee, which is a famous North Vietnamese thing. here because we have no table you can see <laughs> but this is this is a famous place it's cafe gang right Zhang. oh okay cafe Zhang. they're the ones who uh discovered the eight coffee so we gotta give it a try it's packed here okay so this is the famous eight coffee Okay, so our local friend just showed us Cafe Nyang, which is very famous here. They came up with the egg, whipped egg yolk in coffee. What do you think about it? You like it? Yeah, very unique, very interesting. Uh, but for me, I would add a bit more coffee to it because I like my coffee a bit stronger. Yeah. Uh, but otherwise, it tastes very good. Yeah, that's what I found too. It was uh, very nice on the kind of egg yolk side, but the coffee flavor a little bit missing. Uh, but hey, they're, they're famous. It's really good here. So there's two locations here. This is the original one and it's always busy. And I don't know what street this is, but it's uh, close to the lake side. I'll drop a location. So why are they so famous? It's because they came up with that recipe to add beaten egg yolk into coffee. Now there's a few people that uh, do the same, but they're still very uh, popular and by far the busiest place. Is this from the north or from the south? From the south. South, okay. Yeah, fried fish is from the north. Oh, see food in there. Yeah, squid and shrimp. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's try it up first. Mix it up, it's also true. Mix round, spring on the edge. Very healthy food. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had it with rice paper before. Is that the north style? Yes. Oh, okay. We have many kinds of rice paper. Yeah. For fried spring roll, for fresh spring roll, and even for snack like coconut rice paper. Okay. Yeah, so we have many kinds of rice paper. Okay. Okay. You don't need water to stick the paper? No, that is for ice pop. Oh, that's So excellent. local uh, rice paper, we don't need to make it wet. Good idea. Everything and right. it. Yeah? Okay. Enjoy the meal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So that was a demonstration of uh, bun zhao and how to eat it. The way that they showed it though is how the North eats it, right? It's a South Vietnam wrapper. We don't wrap with rice paper. No, yeah, so that's slightly different. But bun zhao is basically like a um, crepe. They make it with egg and stuff. It's a crepe. And then they put different ingredients in there to uh, wrap it. And you can wrap it with salad or wrap it with rice paper, just like the way that they showed it now. So this is what it looks like after it's wrapped and after I bite it, of course. This is what it's called. You can quan a lot. It's very interesting. I like it a lot. It's like a sausage uh, meat wrapped in this beta leaf which is supposed to be very good for you then you put in lettuce you put some vermicelli and rice paper and then you dip it into fish sauce okay so we just finished a really good meal at this place and that's the place if you're looking for a air conditioned place which is could be hard to find here but air conditioned and also a wide variety of Vietnamese food this is a good place to check out So this is uh, 
This is traditional Vietnamese um, kind of dessert. They have a bunch of stuff in there, grass jelly, beans and stuff, and you're supposed to add ice into it. This is a special jie. So the one that Janie ordered has durian in it. It's called, it's, what was it called? Sorin. Sorin, durian, okay? So for those of you who don't like durian, order it without it. This one's without because I'm not a durian fan. Nor is Kirsten, and it reminds me of the first time that she tried it when she first visited Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> Gross, right? I know. That's what I said. Okay, give me the review of Durian after this. We hope you guys enjoyed that video and you'll get to try some of the great food here. Yes, if you did, then please leave us a comment and let us know what you liked the most. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel as we will be bringing you much more videos in our Vietnam travel series. Until next video, 